Hey y'all, it's Chris and Tammy, and some of y'all been waiting a long time for me to make stuffed bell peppers. This recipe is in our third cookbook. It's about doggone time. I made a video for y'all. Let's get started. So we're gonna take the tots off of all of our peppers. So just cut off a little bit and then reach in there and grab the middle part and twist it off. Here, let's do it over the sink. And then I just take my fingers and go in there and pull these off the sides. These little, this part. This one's got some seeds down in there. Just take them out. Because we're going to boil these for five minutes in boil, boiling water. We're going to set them right over here next to the water. And when that water starts to boil, we're going to drop those in there and let them boil for five minutes. And while that's getting hot, and ready to boil, we are going to brown some ground beef and we're going to add half of a medium onion in it and then we'll drain it and use it in our stuffing. All right. Now I'm using a half recipe so I don't need all this beef. I only need about half of it. So we're just going to let this brown with our onion. And we'll be right back. All right, take a cup of water, put it in the bottom of your baking dish. This is a loaf pan. I thought it was the perfect size for three of my peppers. You pick out what you think you need. Score how many peppers you make. All right, our water's boiling. We're going to dip these in here and let them boil for five minutes. I got to push them down in there. Get the water in them. And I'm going to turn on my timer. We're going to leave those in there five minutes. You want your ten, you want these peppers to be nice and tender so that they're delicious, okay? So you always want to boil them first. That's a smart thing to do. And while these are cooking in the oven, we'll make some good vegetables to go with it. Okay? Now I'm just gonna scoop this over and drain my ground beef right in the skillet with some paper towels. Y'all have seen me do that before. Easy cleanup. Be careful and don't get burnt. I like to flip it over. Use both sides of my paper towel. Now for our stuffing, I'm going to go ahead and put my beef in here with the onion. All right, you're going to set aside some of this tomato sauce to use on the top of your peppers. And I'm using this small can because I'm using half the recipe and I've already told y'all that. So y'all just go by the recipe if you're making six peppers. That's a cup of rice. You're gonna use about a half cup of cheese. You're gonna use ketchup and mustard. Mustard. Ketchup's a quarter cup for this amount. Okay, we're gonna use some salt. We're gonna use some onion powder. And some chili powder. So let me grab a teaspoon. The only thing I'm we'll gonna measure, really measure. And it's supposed to be a quarter teaspoon for half of the recipe. So not a lot, just a little. And we're gonna mix all this up. 
with half of this tomato sauce. Leave enough tomato sauce for the top of the peppers. So it's just mustard, ketchup, salt, pepper, cheese, a little bit of chili powder, and onion powder. All there is to it. Simple dimple. Simple ingredient, southern cooking. Our peppers have boiled for five minutes, so we're gonna set them right here in this baking dish with that cup of water. You wanna go ahead and put the water down in the bottom because you want them to be tender. You don't want dried out stuffed peppers, okay? And you do wanna go ahead and cook your rice as well. So it's cooked rice that goes in the middle of your peppers. And now we're gonna stuff our peppers. Well, I dropped some. I knew I was gonna do that. That's all right. I want to get them good and full. That one so far has been the hardest to stuff. All right. There we have it. All right, now we're going to take our tomato sauce and pour it right on the top of them. Now I'm going to take some foil and I'm gonna wrap them with some foil. I'll dome it a little bit. And then we're gonna let this be covered for 45 minutes, okay? And in 45 minutes, we're gonna take the top off, the foil off, and we're gonna put some cheese on top of them and we're gonna let them finish baking for 15 minutes. So these are gonna bake at 350 degrees for a total of one hour. 45 minutes, foil on. 15 minutes foil off. All right, so we're gonna slide these in the oven and we will see you in 45 minutes. Well, y'all, I'm gonna turn up my water cause me and Chris are gonna have some corn on the cob with this. And I'm gonna reach in here and grab this and we're gonna take the foil off of it and put some cheese on it and then put it back in there. Try not to let all my heat out of the oven. Okay. Don't get burnt taking the foil off. Okay. Try to find my cheese. I can't remember where I put it. So I'm just going to put some cheese on the top of every one of them. And then we're going to eat, y'all, 15 minutes and it's going to be ready. Just put it back in there for 15 minutes. That one got raped off a little bit, so I had to borrow some more cheese for it. Y'all like my snoopy things? I got them at Bales. Aren't they cute? All right, here we go. Girls, y'all better move. Y'all gonna get burnt. We'll see y'all in about 15 minutes and it's gonna be good. All right, our corn is ready. Now I only boiled my corn about four minutes and since I had the water for the peppers, it made a lot of sense just to boil some corn. So if you have some fresh corn this time of year, if you're making stuffed peppers, it makes a lot of sense just to make you some good old corn. All right, we're gonna get these out of the oven and I'm gonna put them on this platter and let y'all see how pretty they are. This is a really good thing to serve if you got company because it looks pretty on the table. It's easy to serve, ain't it, Chris? Mm -hmm. Look at there, look at there. 
pretty as a picture. Now, those things are real hot. We're gonna make us a plate and I'll cut into one and let you see how pretty it is and how delicious it is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice into here and see how this thing looks right in the middle. So y'all can see it. Looks good and cheesy. Cheesy good. All right, y'all, this is in the third cookbook, our stuffed bell peppers. And you should be having some bell peppers come out of the garden soon. So this is a great recipe for this time of year. All right, we're gonna give this a try. You can see after I hacked it, it looks good, good, good. It's got plenty of cheese. See how delightful it is. It shouldn't burn me. I always put a lot in my mouth, don't I, Chris? It shouldn't burn me because it's been sitting here for a minute. It's really good. The pepper is just right. It's good and tender. The flavor is outstanding. With that cheese, you're gonna love these. They're really not that hard to do. And if you don't have any rice cooked, use some minute rice. It's not gonna hurt nothing. There's a little bit of rice that goes in these. I hope you've enjoyed watching us on Colored Valley Cooks, and I hope you come back and see us and try this stuffed bell pepper recipe. This recipe will be online, like all of our other recipes, printable at ColoredValleyCooks.com. We'll see you next time. Love ya. Bye. It's cold now. Tammy, she just showed you how to cook it up like Mama used to do. Marcy. One to be half. Marcy. Marcy. Marcy, you look at me. Stop. Stop. Marcy. Look here. Happy. Happy.